Welcome to Papa's Workshop. Today's video is all about maintenance. I want to show you the normal daily maintenance that I do with this machine after a carving. And I also want to show you a little problem that I had. After the last carve, I had some squeaking noise and I needed to be able to take a look at it and I found out that I needed to grease the linear bearings. And while I was there, I went ahead and greased the lead screws also. But this is not part of the daily maintenance that I do. This is something that I do as a daily routine after each carve and check the machine thoroughly. Keeping it clean is very important. And regular maintenance is equally as important. I also encourage you to watch part one and part two of the maintenance videos that I have done where I go into much, much more detail on exactly how to maintain the CNC machines. Recently, I just finished doing a carving using a CNC for newbie new carve, and you can see the machine is quite dirty. In fact, it is just filthy. I did not clean it up immediately after the car because I knew I was going to be doing this video and I wanted to show you the before and after plus I wanted to be able to show you the maintenance that I do to be able to keep this machine clean and operational plus I am greasing the linear bearings today. I think it's very important to be able to maintain these machines and keep them clean. So after just a few minutes of cleaning this machine now looks brand new again. All the junk and the crud and the sawdust and the uh, resin flakes are all gone. And the machine is nice and clean again. And this is what you want it to look like after each carve. And I know I've looked at a lot of different videos and the machines are just caked on with just tons and tons of debris. I'm surprised they're even working. I don't like to do that with my machines. I certainly recommend being able to keep it maintained and cleaned and this is the best way that I know to be able to do it. So get into a regular habit. After each carve, clean the machine. The last project that I was working on was the chessboard. And when I was surfacing that, that really made a big mess. Now, if you look at this now, after that project was done, I went through and cleaned everything. And this is the normal maintenance that I do after each project so that the machine stays clean. And this helps to be able to keep everything working as it should all the time. So please take that time to be able to maintain your equipment. It'll last for a long time. And by the way, don't forget to clean up the accessories that are near the machine. This needs to stay clean also. And I think you'd have to agree that having Everything clean and in order just makes your whole experience working with the CNC much more enjoyable. I think it's a lot nicer to be able to come into the shop when it's clean and organized. I think it's going to make your experience in the shop time much better. Now let's get on to greasing the machine. Now I'm not going to go into tons of detail because I do have a very detailed part one and part two videos that show exactly how to do this. Here's an excerpt from that video, part one. And the Allen wrench that I'm using is actually a two millimeter. Now I contacted the folks over at CNC for Newbie and asked them exactly what grease to be able to use. And what they recommended was this one right here. This is the Valvoline heavy duty crimson grease to be able to use. Now they also said, if you can't find this, any heavy duty multi-purpose tacky grease would work. Now, the other thing that you're going to need when you do this, you're going to need a very long needle point to be able to put this grease into that opening. And this will attach to the end of the hose on the grease gun. And again, I'll put a link to that in the description below also. I would certainly encourage you to check out both part one and part two of the maintenance schedule that I do with the CNC for newbie, new carve, and the rest of the CNC machines. This is just a normal maintenance that I do. And after running that last job, I heard a little squeak and I wanted to check everything out. And I realized that it needed a little bit of grease to be able to take care of that problem. Now, many of you know, as far as the maintenance on the routers, that those router brushes only last about 200 hours, sometimes a little bit less, depending on how you run your machine and that requires regular maintenance also. So when you're going through that, please look at those two, and I'll link that video down below also. 
because I have my machine stuck in a little cubby hole in the shop that was designed specifically for the CNC machines, to do this type of maintenance, I just roll it out into the middle of the shop where I can work on it. And that way I can get to all sides, front, back, and sides. Please look for loose wires, damaged wires, missing parts, so that you can fix them during this time also. This CNC for Newbie is all cleaned up and it's ready now to get back in service again. And it looks like a brand new machine. That's what I want to be able to have all the time is to be able to maintain these machines to the point where they look brand new, even though they've got many hours of carving time on them. After all the maintenance is done, I like to be able to turn the machine on and I'm listening for that squeak. And no, everything is as it should. So now that I know that everything works, I'm ready to set up for the next carve. I also like to test by doing the homing to make sure that the limit switches are working properly too. And you can see here, yes, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Anytime that you're working in a shop, you need to maintain your equipment. And the CNC machines are a big part of that. But all of your tools need to be really gone through every now and then. Even table saws, band saws, uh, the mitre saws, all those different tools need to have regular maintenance. That is one way that you're gonna be able to, over the lifetime of the tool, really be able to get the maximum benefit out of that tool and really enjoy it to its fullest. Now, if you don't do that, you can cause problems. I wanna thank everybody for watching this video today because it's really, really important to be able to maintain your CNC machine. Now, I have up on the screen and behind me the maintenance of part one on the CNC for newbie. And again, I'm gonna link that video description down in the uh, link below. But I want you to really take maintaining your CNC's machines very seriously. And as far as that concerned, all of your equipment in your shop. Very, very important to have regular maintenance. Now I maintain these machines after every single carb. And then at a 100 hour mark and a 200 hour mark, I go into a lot of detail on just making sure that everything is 100% correct and accurate and still working as it should. Once the maintenance is done, as you saw, I'll run it through the paces. I'll home the machine. I'll run it on all the different axes and make sure that everything is running smooth. Again, I want to thank everybody for watching this video today. I really appreciate your support to be able to watch, learn how to use the equipment in the shop. In the next video, I'm going to be doing some carving with this machine that we just did the maintenance on. You're not going to want to miss that. It's going to be a lot of fun because it's going to be carving and we're going to use some epoxy and make an inlay with it. So for now, bye-bye. Can't wait to see you real soon.